Hello everyone, I'm Ake Franz Arnold. I'm a pre-doctoral researcher at Edibel, and I come from France. So, I'm French, and as you all know, we love romance. And what it means, sometimes, to write a lot of letters. And when I look the way people write their letters, I realize then there are small differences we can see. In general, the structure of the letter is similar. In the left, you can see the name. In the right, the address. And in the body of the letter, you can see sentences like Dear Jessica, your father must to be a criminal. He steal all the treasure of this earth to put it in your eye. In general, you end this letter by a salutation expression like sincerely or best. In France, when we write later, we like most of the time to end it by a long and polite salutation expression like s'il vous plaît, veuillez recevoir l'expression de mes salutations les plus distinguées. And what I've seen in Spain, it's most of the time when people write later, they like to end it by short expression like saludos. And you know what? Our brain functions in a very similar way. Did you know that in our brain, we have millions of cells of different types? You can have cells writing letters and at the end of the message, a long and complicated salutation formula like us French people. S'il vous plaît, veuillez recevoir l'expression de mes salutations distinguées. Or you can have cells writing message and at the end, a short salutation formula like Spanish people. Saludos. And you know what? Something funny is when the cells write later, they don't put their name at the end of the letter like us, friends of Jessica. No, they always sing anonymously like A, 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 A. Example of a cell letter. Dear dad, I need money. I don't have anything. Can you send me 30 euros? Saludos. A, 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 A. So, scientifically, the possibility for the cells to write a letter is a short salutation formula or a long, a process we call alternative polyadenylation. We say polyadenylation because when the cells write later, they always sign with A, 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 and alternative because the size of the salutation part always change. So, why the size of the salutation part is so important? Scientific observe that in some diseases like cancer, when the cells write later, they always write later with a small salutation part. It's like suddenly, the cells are all tired and lazy, and when they write later, they always choose the Spanish style. Saludos. The goal of my thesis work is to create a tool to know what style of letters the cells in the brain use. Is it the version with the long or short salutation style? And especially, what specific cell type write later with a small salutation hand and what specific cell type write later with a long salutation hand. And when I will finish to implement this tool, I want to apply it for Alzheimer's disease. My question will be, do we see differences in the style of later the cell type used in a Alzheimer's brain compared to a healthy one? And then we will know what differences we can see in the style of later between an Alzheimer's brain and a healthy one.